Don't know if you heard, but on Sunday, there was this little event known as the Superb Owl. The Super Bowl was this week. Thrilling game. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs MVP, the referees, uh, certainly came in and, and helped them out. Uh, they played a magnificent game. They played a, it was a, it was a thrilling game. It was a thrilling it was a, game. I mean, isn't that what we want? That's Super exactly Bowl? what you want. Great game. Mm-hmm. Two really good right fantastic ones. Too. But, Eagles loved how it ended up too. Every, it's exactly what everybody oh yeah, the Eagles, yeah, with the maybe the exception of the Eagles, who maybe were not as happy with the ending of it. But <laughs> this thing now, I one of the reasons when people ask me what's the thing I wh- why do I love sports so much it, to me is because as as a movie lover, as a TV lover, sports is real life, real drama. Like you look at the Super Bowl, look at the storylines, the hot shot MVP of the young hot shot MVP of the league, Patrick Mahomes, kind of a busted up foot a little bit he's working on a buzz he's gonna be able to deliver in the big game you got the thing at the kelsey brothers i mean there's a movie right there you got the 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 superstar on, on one kelsey brother on the one team a superstar kelsey brother on the other and they're meeting each other in the super bowl there's a movie right there you got another young how hot is that shot. family dinner oh uh, yeah that one was probably pretty good you got on the other side another young hotshot quarterback who just a couple of years earlier was the superstar of his college team alabama took them to the national championship game and got benched at halftime. And they brought in some backup who then won the national championship for him. And now he's in the NFL and he has a chance for redemption in the Super Bowl. Real life movie, television show drama. And guess what? It's never lost some people. Some people wonder why can they charge $7 million for a 30 second spot? It's because of this. The Super Bowl this weekend became the third, according to the report, became the third biggest television broadcast in history. The third biggest television broadcast in history was this thing with a number of 113 million viewers. Now let's go over to the classroom for a second. So the number three biggest broadcast in history the Eagles versus Chiefs, that's that's pretty good. Well done, Super Bowl. Well done. Well, what was the second biggest broadcast in television history? Well, as it turns out, that was also a Super Bowl. <laughs> it was the 2017 Super Bowl, Patriots versus Falcons, with the biggest comeback in, in playoff Super Bowl history. That game was insane. I still remember watching that game. Okay, well, that's the second biggest broadcast. Well, what was the number one broadcast of all time? Surprise, surprise, it was also a Super Bowl. Uh, and, and again, it was uh, Tom Brady's Patriots versus the Seahawks. Of course with that, it was. Oh, with that last-second goal line. Why do you have to bring that up? Play Why? with 114.4 million viewers. I bring this up do you have to? because as television, <laughs> you know, we talk about TV round here. These are the three most-watched television broadcasts of all time, or what they call television programming of all time. And when you ask the questions, like, how come these movies, like we had a bunch of movie trailers, bunch of movie previews, but they're paying top, top, top premium dollar, $7 million. And remember, a lot of movies will have like a $20, $30 million marketing budget. You're literally talking about spending nearly a third of your entire marketing budget for one 30-second spot. These numbers are why. That's why. They're spending so much money to put these movie trailers on because this thing has the most eyeballs on it than anything you can possibly have in North America. These are the numbers that kind of prove that. Anyway, Rob, you're checking out. The, these are astronomical, these things, but what's your interpretation of it? Well, if you want to get to the Super Bowl, you should name your team after a bird. That's that's clear. That much is absolutely clear. I mean, a falcon, a seahawk, and an eagle. <laughs> so get that's, in there. you know, look, I think that... that um, and all of them lost. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> but they got there. But they got they there. Got I there. mean, that's that's the important thing. Um, and two of those people were defeated by Patriots. And, you know, yeah. I'm always, I've always been a Patriot myself. I hate the team, but I've always been a Patriot. <laughs> no, I, I, I think that, look, one of the great things about the Super Bowl is it is uniquely this American... I mean... Uh, American football embodies so much of what America is as a nation. And and whether you love football, it's the culmination of the, of the season. Like you said, real drama. The teams that are in the Super Bowl had their ups, their downs. They fought their way to the top. They clawed, in the case of birds, 
<laughs> and if they brought their muskets, and in the case of the Patriots, they fought their way to the top. Like you said, real drama. But it's become an event. I mean, to the point where even the commercials are celebrated. I mean, you're waiting yeah, a lot to of, see. I, how many people do you know that literally see I tune and watch Super Bowl to watch the commercials? I mean, it's well, crazy. I watched the Super Bowl so I could watch Ben Affleck working <laughs> at Dunkin' Donuts. That was pretty funny. I mean, <laughs> you know, or, or or Grease being sung by John Travolta again for a T-Mobile ad. You know, there was there was I had um, uh, Elizabeth's aunt. She said she, she we had dinner Sunday night. And she goes, I think I think that's my last Super Bowl. You know, she's a little older. She said, I think because I really didn't understand any of the commercials anymore. And I thought that was hilarious because she didn't understand any of the pop culture references. But I, I mean, I think that's it, there's something for everybody now. And it's just we love our get togethers and it's a fun day. Friends, family, you get together. There's really no downside to the Super Bowl unless you, you know, are an Eagles or a, a Flying Bird fan, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's just fun. It's 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 America, man. It's America, and and what and the Rihanna performing, pregnant Rihanna. By the way, how great coming was out! Oh my God, incredible! Yeah. You know, and and by the way, I got to give it to my man Prince. Maybe the greatest Super Bowl performance ever. I mean, only Prince could call God and have him rain on the halftime show. So Prince could play Purple Rain in the rain at the Super Bowl. Come on, that was impressive. That was a flex. That's what that was a that. flex. That was a man. flex by Prince. Of course, then yeah. he got called home too early. It's no All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about that? Uh, the Super Bowl this weekend is the number three broadcast in history, only behind other Super Bowl broadcasts. And this is why, like a lot of television and movies, why more of them don't go out there and advertise on because it is such a huge price tag. But that's why the price tag is so high for those movie trailers. Anyway, guys, whatever you guys think, by the way, that's why a lot of people are, why are they just showing the 30 seconds? Because if they showed the two minute, <laughs> it would be what? A $28 million. $28 million. Yeah. Price tag to play the entire trailer. Anyway, whatever you guys think about that, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Breaking news, Manscaped now sells beard products. That's right, they are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com and using the code Campia for 20% off and free shipping. It all starts with the Beard Hedger. This thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. You also get the Beard Shampoo and Conditioner. Because guys, you gotta remember that all of your hair is different. Your beard hair is more coarse and easier to damage than the hair on your head. Next, the kid has Manscaped's Beard Oil. The oil relieves dryness both on the beard and the skin beneath. You then cap it off with the Beard Balm that shapes, styles, moisturizes, and tames for a sculpted look. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with three special gifts, a beard brush, comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CAMPIA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code CAMPIA. Manscaped Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths.